guys have an issue um, damn I've had this phone forever too it's a uh, when you're looking for, it's 2016 and this is actually uh, my phone this is a uh, even though I'm actually an IT guy I uh, still actually have this uh, Galaxy uh, Note 2 Samsung Galaxy Note 2 but yeah it's actually worked great you know it's, it looks just like a modern phone it always was perfect so yeah I was uh, on a job site and it fell out of my pocket and uh, hit on, went on the ground and the screen got jacked up the phone still works it just the, the screen is all jacked up so yeah the cool thing is I, I, uh, a lot of the modern Samsung's don't actually have SD cards but so I need to find another card with an S, another phone with an SD card because all my, my music and other stuff is on here but my photos I have a lot of photos on the actual internal storage on this device and I need to get it off there but I can't log in because normally for me to get to the uh, the storage I can see it there but I need to log into the phone but I can't log in because I can't see the screen so Samsung it looks like it has a uh, program called Kai's which I can uh, download it and uh, recover I guess hopefully some data maybe my text messages uh, my contacts are stored on exchange server so that's not a big deal it's contacts and email so really I'm just taking text messages and the internal phone storage the flash uh, chips that are on the uh, phone here so hopefully this works and then tomorrow I'll have to get a new phone but all right, let's try this out. We'll see. So, all right. All right, guys. So, um, you saw in the last video, I showed you the phone. It's connected. It uh, powers on. You can see this in the video. Um, so, it it sort of has like a screen. It kind of comes on. I mean, the phone is definitely working because I'm getting inbound calls, texts. I can hear everything coming in. But, uh, yeah, I want to get my pictures off, and I can't see anything on the screen, really. So, um, there's a program uh, that's made by Samsung called uh, Keys, I guess, K-I-E-S, and I'm going to get version 3. I think you can see this on the screen. So I've already downloaded it, and uh, I'm going to install it real quick, and uh, I'll come back here. So i got to find it on my desktop real fast. All right. Actually, since you're only seeing that screen. I'm kind of new to this video software here, so where is the way to help it? Software edit. Um, where is it at? There it is. Yes. Yeah, I, you're not going to be able to see the screen until it comes up here, but I'm actually in installing the program here so there we go now you can see it again and now we'll bring up this and so now you can see I mean this is the first time I installed it so what you're seeing is what I'm seeing so I'm just going to try to figure it out on the fly and okay so it shows it's installing and all right I'm gonna, I have to keep on dragging them over to this main or my main my main screen this, what you're seeing is my right screen I have four different screens you can't see them but uh, my main screen is on the left hand side, and this is on the right hand side. Okay, create desktop shortcut, da da da, run through. Okay, here we go. All right, so it sees my phone. Connected device is locked. Please enter password on the connected device. And that's a freaking problem because the screen doesn't work. So, how the hell am I going to get the device password? So, oops, oops. That is no good. I mean, I can't enter the password here. Tools. Okay, I don't want to connect to this. Well, that's. I guess that defeats the purpose of freaking. Uh, well, let me figure this out here. All right, guys, back here again. I uh, solved the issue. This is kind of crazy. I just got kind of lucky on this. And I had to keep it active. So what I have is a, uh, if you guys can see that, but it's called a uh, USB on-the-go cable. And I, actually, I just happened to have this for a different thing I was doing with this phone. And as you can see now, I'm actually getting the information where it's, you know, uh, my thing here, and uh, I mean, obviously I don't want you to see my photos, so I'm not going to be. Uh, 
doing that. But um, yeah, so I mean, that's cool. Now I can get into this phone and lock it out. So what I did was because I couldn't, the screen is locked. I can't see what I'm putting in there. So by hooking up this on, uh, USB on the go cable, I hooked up a full um, size of USB keyboard here and hooked up to my phone. And there's also an optional, um, like another like a female USB, but uh, it, it wouldn't work. So I couldn't get the, uh, I was hoping I could get a mic kick at the same time. You know, the data cable going to the computer and the keyboard. But so what I do is I had to hook up the keyboard, unlock it, you know, put my password in, hit enter. And then uh, I was hitting the volume keys to keep, you know, from, from locking again, just to kind of keep it active and not lock again. And then I plugged in the USB cable. So I was kept on, you know, messing around with the, the I was messing around with keys to keep it so from, uh, from locking. I don't know if that makes sense or not. But. Okay. Uh, so yeah, stoked. Unlocked. So now I can get my uh, pictures off this thing. So cool. Awesome. Okay. So let's see keys. All right. Yeah, actually, I was looking at different data plans too for uh, this. Is actually, a Verizon phone, but had Verizon forever. Um, so yeah, so now I can get my videos, phones. But really, just I have pictures of my kid on this phone, so I want to get them off. But um, I do actually have a pretty big SD card, so most of my music on there. It just I just want to get these photos off, and that's it. You know, maybe some text if I can get the text off here and see what I can get. But cool. So yeah, I'm glad I had that cable. It's called a USB on the go cable, and that allowed me to put the password in to get this thing off. So if you're having a similar issue, I mean that's how I fixed it. So stoked. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Actually, back here. Uh, I guess I realized that <clears throat> the fact that I unlocked the phone allows me to give direct access now to the to the storage device. So if you can see on the screen, I have uh, access to all my pictures, DCIM, and all my other stuff, so downloads them. But I gotta figure out where I, I guess where the texts are saved. That's even possible, but yeah. So I guess the on the go cable. Uh, stoked, I guess. All right, cool. Um, all right.